My name is Pat Parker. My name is Judy Bond. David McTamony. I'm a volunteer with Habitat. Hi, I'm Cornelia Gallagher. Hey, I'm Reggie Francois. Uh, Ron Hall from New Windsor. Hi, I'm Regan Alexander with the Land Use Law Center at Peace Law School. I'm Matt Graham. I'm an architecture student at Penn State. We, we are, are Habitat for Humanity. I'm Kathy Collins. I'm the Executive Director of Habitat for Humanity of Greater Newburgh. Our, our whole operation is dependent upon um, volunteers. I volunteer because I like their motto of a hand up, not a hand out. I'd heard about Habitat before and I actually um, read about Habitat in the newspaper about all the different projects and how they're getting close to their 50th house. So I thought it's related to architecture, it's something I can do for the community. It keeps me out of trouble. <laughs> well, I worked for the City of New York previously and I know that with the city's volunteer program they say that volunteers are the greatest untapped workforce that we have. When I first came here I didn't know anybody. Dave told me everything I knew and I liked it and I keep on coming back. So I learn more from Dave. It's a great guy. This is a great program. My first volunteering, um, I first read a little news clip, a little tiny thing in the newspaper that a fellow named Bill Murphy uh, was uh, going to have a meeting to see if there was enough interest among folks to do one house in the city of Newburgh. So a lot of people turned out and pretty soon uh, we got the city council to sell us a couple of houses in Newburgh for a dollar a piece and we moved in and started renovating. And in the last 10 years we've torn down some to the ground and built new houses so we've done a little of everything. So there's a, a, a room in here for anybody of any level any skill level. There's not um, an aspect of this work that we do that volunteers aren't involved in. My name is Carmel Donner and I am the Family Services Coordinator. My job without volunteers will, it's just not going to happen. Application session, um, mailings, dedications, everything I do, I need a volunteer at my side. So volunteers are absolutely important to my position. <laughs> My name is Trish Lewis, and I am a store manager here at the Habitat Free Store. We have teams of pickup people that go out and pick up the donated items, and we also have different volunteers that work within the store decorating, running the cash register, cleaning the furniture, and we actually have a couple of guys that come in and work in our woodshop downstairs repairing, doing limited repairs on some of the items. My job would be horrible without volunteers, and I would work 90 hours a week. Caitlin Dalton and I'm the volunteer and outreach coordinator. It's inspiring to me every single day I go on site and I see those volunteers. It's amazing to me the amount of work people put in and how selfless they are. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who volunteers. Your commitment and your hard work is incredible. Hello, I'm Brady Quinn. I'm the senior site coordinator with Habitat for Humanity. People have asked me that many times what it is that motivates me to do what I do. Um, I think just simply the reward of having a job that at the end of the day you've done something for the community, for other people. A couple of years ago when I was working with the Women at the Women Build and the roof trusses showed up for the house and they got delivered and dumped off at the site and all the women just looked at me and said, how are we going to do this? We are going to do this. So with myself and a couple other guys, we got the roof trusses taken up two floors all the way to the top of the building. And I think at the end of the day, it was just something that these women never thought that they would accomplish. The only thing I can say is express my gratitude and say thank you. Um, it certainly would not happen without the volunteers. It's certainly the big part of it that it is the volunteers that are doing a majority of the work. So, sincere thank you. The hard work is great knowing that it's, like I said, going back to the community. And I've worked with two families that are working towards getting their own house and just seeing people in the community working on stuff for their own neighborhoods, giving us a sense of ownership to it. I think the reward is when we have a closing and the excitement, the kids walk in saying, this is my bedroom. I get so much more back than, than I've ever put in. Um, I have volunteered for a number of organizations and I tell everybody I meet that this is the first organization I've worked for where there are no egos. I absolutely love coming here and working with the, with the staff, with the volunteers because everybody's on the same page, um, everybody has the same desire to achieve the same goal and nobody feels that they are more important than anybody else. It's good for the city of Newburgh, it's good for the partner families, 
It's good for me, the camaraderie of working with others. It's been the most rewarding thing that I've done in uh, all my years of uh, being here. I've been in Newburgh for 65 years, and this is certainly the best thing that I've done. We're old Newburghers, and it's great to see it. We've, we've seen it at its worst. We've seen it at its best. And it's, it's coming back, and, and, and Habitat is the one that's helping it to come back. I want to see Newburgh revive, and I think that Habitat is a key to that, and that really keeps it coming. And we're all here working for the mission of Habitat, creating safe, decent housing, and uh, making Newburgh a better place, one house at a time. And to me, that's what it's all about. We need more volunteers. <laughs> That's a final moment.